What was the, uh, I mean, you've probably been asked this before, your initial reaction from going from a skill position, you know, to a grinder position? Uh, man, I mean, it seems like such a long time ago now. Um, at that point, it was just what does the team need and what, what needs to be done to help the team win. And uh, there was a need at that position last year, and I was willing to do whatever it helps to take, help the team win. And uh, that's what we did, and we've ran with it, and it's been, uh, it's been a great experience so far. You seem a natural with that position. Why didn't you, did you play it all in high school? No, not at all. Uh, I played pretty much strictly wide receiver and a little bit of tight end here and there. Is that because you had other guys that were just as big as you or bigger than you? Or? Uh, in high school? Or yeah, in high school. Uh, no, it's just because I was. That's what I grew up playing, pretty uh -huh. much, and that's what I thought I was for a while. But mm -hmm. we know what I am now. <laughs> Does it feel like, like this is what you are? Like, do... Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I'm an offensive lineman. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I didn't just really switch positions. It's just, it's kind of a change in lifestyle. Um, so, yeah. How's the life? What's the lifestyle? What's the lifestyle change like? Uh, I mean, just in terms of being a big guy and. Having that mentality that you're gonna every day is gonna be grinding physical, it's more physical, um, and just the me overall mentality of how you play the game. Uh, mm -hmm. How I play the game is a lot different now than how I played the game two years ago and even last year. You guys all like live together, sit together at meals, like all that. Uh, we sit together at meals a lot. I live with Alex Wilkser, um, so that helps. He's definitely an offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, looking. You know, looking back, I mean, what were those first practices like when you switched over? Ah, oh, man. Uh, Nerve-wracking. Uh, it's it's all kind of a blur because at that point I was just trying to figure out what am I doing, where am I going. Um, and that was another that was another system ago. So, um, I mean, it was fun. It was a learning experience. And uh, I'm just happy to be where I am now. I'm happy to have the knowledge that I've had and the experience that I've been able to get over the last, what is it, year and a half now. I remember the day that Pat told us he was making a move with you. He mentioned by that you could play play there at the next level. Is that one of the things he said to you when he suggested the change? Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's a conversation we had, and that's a goal that's still in front of me. And uh, But you can't worry about that. I'm worried about beating Virginia on Saturday. They, pose, they have a very good defensive line. What have you seen from them on film uh, so far? Uh, I think they're the most talented defensive line, defensive front seven we've Played, honestly um we know that we're not shying away from the challenge we're looking forward to the opportunity because it is a big opportunity um they're very talented up front and uh it's gonna be a big test for our offensive line and we're looking forward to it what kind of challenges that being three four two mm, just different angles and in terms of where we're gonna how we're gonna play certain things in terms of to the field or the boundary or things little things but nothing really changes that much uh We'll be on. Is it like put an emphasis though on identifying the pass rusher, communicating that kind of thing? I think it all starts with communication in terms of uh, A will tell us what's going on and where we're going, and we just listen to him. And if Nate wants to make any changes, uh, we just we I just do what I'm told. Uh, <laughs> that's one thing that I've learned to do is just follow follow the leaders, and the leaders in our pass protection are A O and Nate. It's having a pretty experienced group. You know, of offensive linemen and Nate is a fifth year guy can make that process smoother for you guys. Absolutely. And I think it's uh it's helped that AO's been a guard and a center. So he's seen what it's like to play it from multiple positions. So that helps when he's making out making the calls and telling us where to go. Is that he knows what's gonna be harder for one guy at one position and what's gonna be easier for another guy at another position. Was any particular lineman or you know, helpful for you specifically when you Made that switch over? Yeah, Biz. Biz. Um, he's the leader of our offensive line group. He took me in uh, kind of under his wing, and that was a big help. Um, also, believe it or not, another person who was big and helped me was J.P. Holtz at the time, mm -hmm. even though he still played tight end. He was rooting for me the whole way, and he was good. I mean, he did a lot of blocking here in his time, too, so he helped me out a lot. But Biz was the main guy. He uh, really took care of me, and now it's kind of working itself out. We're, we're playing well together. Do you guys notice and maybe, I mean, talk about the fact that there's five teams with one game of first place in the Coastal? Um, I think we know that if we don't win this week, we're probably not going to be uh, up there in terms of the next couple of weeks. So there's nothing really more to be said than the fact that we have to be Virginia. They're a Coastal team. Um, <clears throat> we're in the thick of a big, pretty big race right now in the Coastal, and we're all aware of that. But it, you can't look past Virginia in terms of 
we don't win this game, it, it means nothing. You know what I mean? We have to we have to beat this team, and we're looking forward to that opportunity to try and do that.